that's 15 times zoom picking it up. So what class is that? Class 33. What's this number? 33 or 35. I'm at the uh, Wensleydale Railway, Leeming, also known as Leeming Bar Station. Very old station. The train doesn't go all the way through, but it's a class 33035 diesel locomotive. It pulls a variety of very old, out of normal service train carriages. And it runs through to Wensleydale. Hence all these carriages are quite old. So people pay to go on this train at various stops along the route. You can book it for private parties. This is what our old rail stock used to look like in the UK. Old British Railways carriages. Dining car. Railways D9523. I don't know what this yellow one is. Number WL4. This DJI OM6 gimbal is actually really good when you use it to film videos, but not very good when you're on YouTube, YouTube Live for some reason. Old 
intercity rolling stock carriage. The red seats, sliding windows. train just came into the platform from Wensleydale. So another British Railways coach behind. So this is a old station. This is the end of the line at this end. You see the white gates are across the road there and across the sorry across the tracks. So the train doesn't go any further than that. It's just a historic heritage railway line, but not steam. This is a QPR. Rolling stock, sorry, QPA, 41 tons, 22.57 meters, 2.74 meters wide, minimum curve of 80 meters, maximum speed 60 miles an hour. Number 55740. Look inside the cab. like trains if you live in this house. Some old rolling stock in the siding. I don't know what this electric train is. Maybe diesel. If anybody knows, leave a comment. Yeah, it's a diesel, so it's engine's just fired. And it's coming towards us. So I assume it's the engine in the siding that will take the train that's just come in back to Wensleydale. Fourteen number fourteen three six two three. Regional Railways.
some sort of shunt plug behind it. Signal box. Railways locomotive. Class 14, number 142060. self-heating so it doesn't actually need a spark to set itself on fire it can actually just self-combust that's why when they bring it into the docks they have to be really careful what machinery they use to unload it This is a heritage railway and you can come here, you can book tickets, you can book tickets to travel the length of the line, have a meal, as you can see these people just got off, had a meal, some champagne. chefs on board to prepare the meal for the whole train furniture store next door called Simply Dutch, Dutch Furniture Stores. It's free to come here by the way and parking is also free, plenty of parking. It's the Wensleydale Railway, also called the Harriet, Harriet Country Line. Harriet Country for all my international subscribers is we had a TV series uh, in the UK that was set in the sort of 80s and 90s called uh, I think it was called James Harriet or maybe the show was called something else but it was about a vet who was called James Harriet and he worked in Yorkshire and he um, spent a lot of time on the TV obviously working out in the rural locations and it was quite a famous TV show, so they've obviously named it the Harriet Country Line. Lee 
Dreaming Bar is only a small village. So. Sits at the crossroads between the Wensleydale line and the historic Great North Road, which if you're in the UK, you'll know that as the A1 motorway. Boxes of lard. Horse drawn plows. Lovely old building that's been restored. It's the old ticket office, you can see in there without my shadow or reflection. Sorry about the shadow. It's the grand front of the building on the roadside. actually book in to drive one of the locomotives here as well. Which I haven't done today. And these are the events that I was uh, talking about earlier. So you can book in for these between May and December. Uh, do a fish and chips train, gin train, or just pick a few out. Jazz train. Halloween train, bonfire train. So these are all events that you can be booking to book onto and enjoy a meal and drinks on the train. Also take dogs as well. Wednesday's fly is actually a bus, not a train, so if you're looking at timetables, look at this one. I'll uh, pause it and save it. It's the original parcel office for the train. And there's the man himself, George Stevenson. Started it 100 years ago. That's what this says anyway. An old Cadbury's chocolate sign. So you can 
can see here that the uh, trains don't go any further than, than these white gates. Maybe sometimes they go that way, I don't know. But they're not going generally down there. So this is the Leeming Bar Community Hub on a train. Elvis is there as well. Marilyn Monroe. I think. And that was the locomotive that came into the station whilst we were there. So another rolling stop behind it, which is E4406. I don't know how much today's uh, demand for chocolate requires desperation, pacification, expectation, acclimation and realisation. It's fries. Because fries is still sold here in orange, peppermint and fondant cream, I believe. It's not very hugely popular anymore. Old station clock. The old ticket booth. And the old luggage trolleys. The grand building. The waiting room and station master. Master's house. I guess it's open during the daytime, but it's done up like a Victorian station on the inside. Can't really see, you can only see me as a reflection. There's accessible toilets here, and male and female toilets, and baby changing area. I thought you were the station master then. <laughs> so there we go. Wensleydale Railway at Leeming Bar Station. That's the building you'll be looking for. Plenty of car parking space. It's free to come and have a look around. I believe the train journeys obviously cost money and there are a variety of stops. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe, please. See you at the next one. <laughs>